Hey guys, we're back. One of the big, biggest questions that I get asked is, how do you find the right realtor for me and my family? Well, that's actually kind of simple. One, we have an amazing team of uh, referral partners and realtors that we work with, so give me a call. We'll help you out with that. We'll get you pre-approved first, and then we'll set you with the right realtor partner to get you and your family on your way. But if you do it on the backside and flip it to where you find the realtor partner and then come to us, there's a couple things you want to ask to make sure they're ready to go. One, how long have they been in the market for and how long have they been a real estate agent for? I always like to ask the question of what got them into real estate and ask what their why is. Because if their why is nothing but I'm just here to make a transaction, that's not a good realtor partner for you and your family. You wanna ask something of what kind of strategy are you gonna help me and my family find a home and what's the time frame do you think it's gonna take? Because real estate and investing in real estate is not something that happens overnight. Sometimes my first time home buyers take two days and they could take two years. So ask that question of your realtor partner. Are they going to be there along the way through your journey of what if something happens? What if something unique happens? Are they gonna stand beside you? Ask, have you gone through the process before? And I mean that in a, in a clarity way. I've had some referral partners that we work with. They've actually never bought a house before, which is fine, we're doing their loan now, but now they're more in depth and in tune into what they're doing. So now they can come back to their clients and say, hey, here's the process from start to finish. So ask the question, if you don't have one in mind, ask if they've ever actually purchased a home and what was their process, or ask of why they, why they did not and why they haven't bought a home. Maybe that would be a, um, a situation that they just have something personal that they haven't bought a home before. But as a real estate agent, you wanna make sure it's your expertise. And as a lender, if we haven't gone through the process, it's harder for us to justify of what we do every day if we've never purchased a home well. And ask your realtor partner when you're asking these questions of what separates them from the next real estate agent. We all know today there are 19,000 real estate agents within the small area. In our friend circle, I can tell you the sphere that you have, you could have 50 real estate agents and 50 realtors that are your best friends. And so not to make another person mad, but you wanna ask those questions to see if they're a good fit for you. If they're not a good fit for you and your family, then that's understandable. A couple of my clients have come to me and said, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you paired me with so-and-so because they were a good fit. And now they're friends, which uh, they didn't know before, now they're friends of their family. So that is the most important thing, I think, above anything, is if they're not a good fit for you and their family, how do you think that they're gonna survive a real estate transaction? If something goes bad and appraisal comes in lower, you don't get the house that you like, you have to put 19 offers on a home and you keep losing the offers, well, having a real estate partner that is invested in you and your family is going to be the one that's gonna to continue to be there no matter how it is. It's also going to be there when the loan closes and they're gonna be there at Christmas and they're gonna have you over for family dinner. So ask a hard question to your realtor partner of where do you see yourself in five years? Do you envision yourself in real estate in five years? If their answer is no, maybe it's not a good time to select them as a real estate partner because the home you're about to purchase is an investment home and you're looking for a ROI on this to turn around and buy another home in five years. So ask, um, ask them this, ask them what the biggest challenge is in 2020 of buying a home. I like to have that conversation now because pre-COVID, everyone's is the same. It's over market and it's the demand and there's inflation and the inventory is not there or there's too much inventory or the rates are too high, whatever it may be. But ask them today what their biggest challenge is and see how they've overcome it. So those are just a couple of tips today to figure out how um, and how you can find out what the best real estate agent is for you and your family. I'm Glenda White. This is Getting Real with Glenda. I hope you have an amazing day and we'll talk soon.